Okay, so next example tayo. So, ito yung may idle time. So, ganun pa din. So, check nyo yung Q-level natin. So, for Q-level 1, yung inasign natin is preemptive priority. And then, yung Q-level 2, inasign natin is SJF. So, again, magbabari uli yan. Depende dun sa implementation natin. Okay, so si preemptive priority, again, uh, napuputol yung process. And then si SJF naman. So, hindi. So, tingnan natin. So again, ganun pa rin. So check natin, may nag-arrive ba? So technically, earliest arrival natin is 3. Whereas, that will be P4. So Q level ni P4 is 2. So, ayan. Now, ina-implement niya is SJF. So technically, uh, next na arrival naman natin is time 8. So pwede natin maubos yung burst time niya. Okay? So P4. And then, this will end at time 6. Okay? Now, so, gusto yung burst time ni P4. And then, wala pang mag-a-arrive. Kasi nga, again, time 8 yung next na arrival. So, this will be another idle time. So, time 8. So, ayan eh. So, nandito si P2. Okay? So, Q level na assign sa kanya is 2. Okay? So, ayan. Again, as we can see here, SJF to. So, hindi na puputol. As you can see, may mag-a-arrive ng time 10 and ng time 12. So, kahit may mag-a-arrive ng time 10, so, madadaanan niya sa burst time na to. So, hindi tayo titigil. Kasi nga, ang ini-implement niya under ng Q-level 2 is SJF. That is a non-preemptive type. Kaya magdidire-direcho to hanggang maubos niya lahat ng burst time niya. So, technically, we have here P2. mag -e to ng time 12. Okay. So, time 12, dumating na yung P1. And then, dumating na rin si P3. Okay, so check natin yung mga Q level nila. So, P1 natin is 1. So, P3 natin is 2. Okay? So, yan. Now, obviously, alam na natin kung sino yung pipiliin natin. So, that will be P1. It's a higher Q level. Assigned uh, prior, uh, assigned uh, algorithm sa kanya is preemptive priority whereas that is a preemptive type so mapuputol to okay, ilagay na natin si P1 babasahin na siya ni CPU and then burst time niya is 3 ah, rather 5 okay, so hindi niya mauubos lahat ng burst time niya kasi may darating ng time 15 okay, so kailangan niya mag stop, so yung matitirang dalawa. So, again, bakit tayo nag-stop? So, nag-stop tayo kasi ang ini-implement niyang algorithm is preemptive type. Okay? Preemptive priority. Kaya, nung dumating si P5 at time 15, kailangan niyang i-check yung dumating na process. Okay? So, at time 15, nandiyan pa rin si P1 kasi hindi man niya naubos. So, Q-level niya is 1. Nandiyan pa rin si P3. So, Q-level niya is 2. And then, dumating si P5, so Q level niya is 1. So, ayan. Now, in this case, tatlo yung nasa RAM natin na na process. So, basically, tingin natin yung Q level. Ito. So, dalawa yung merong 1 na Q level. Okay? So, tayo ito. Automatically, yung 2, i-disregard mo muna yan. So, mamaya na yan. Now, in this case, Check mo yung ini-implement na algorithm ng 1. So, that will be preemptive priority. Again, so you need to check the criteria for this to, for you to break the tie. Okay? So, P1 natin, ang priority niya is 2. P5 natin, priority niya is 1. So, basically, mas mataas yung priority nito over kay P1. So, ipoprocess na natin si P5 ngayon. Now, the good thing with this is dumating na lahat ng process. So, dire-direcho na to. Okay? So, in this case, burst time nito is 5. So, this will end at time 20. And then, tapos na to. Okay. So, tapos na yan. And then, next one. So, nandyan pa rin si P1. And nandyan pa rin si P3. Okay. So, you have 1 and 2. So, in this case, mauna ngayon si P1. Okay. So, P1 natin is dalawa na lang. So, this will end at time 22 and then lastly you have here p3 so this will end at time 26 okay so this will be yung mga this will be our gun chart okay so let's try to compute for cpu utilization
Okay, so in this one, so we'll be having ilan to? So we have 21 over 26. So times 100. So that will be check natin. Alright, so in this case, ang nakuha natin na uh, CPU utilization is 80.77. So, just like yung other example. Now, we'll be computing for the end time. And then, we have the turnaround time and then the waiting time. Okay? So, P3 natin. So, this end at time 26. So, P1, 22. So, P5 natin is 20. And then, P1 natin is... Ah! P2 natin is 12. And then, next one, P4 is 6. So, ayan. Now, uh, turnaround time, that will be end time minus arrival. Okay, so this will be 12. This will be 4, 14, 3, and then we have 5. Okay, so turnaround minus burst time. So, this will be 7. 0, 10, 0, and then we have here 0. Alright, so we'll be computing ngayon for the average turnaround time and average waiting time. Alright. Alright, so for the average turnaround time, alright, so we'll be having so 38 over 5, so this will be 7.60. And then for the average waiting time, so we'll be having 17 over 5. So this will be uh, 3.40. Okay. So this will be our last example for multi-level queue.